Hello, this is a virtual pathology specimen of a case of Ascariasis or Ascaris lambricoides infection involving multiple sites. So we see here a complex uh, specimen and let's just have a look at the labels. We have the lungs, the heart, this is the liver, and this is part of the duodenum and the stomach. Looking at this overview, we can actually see that there are adult worms located in the duodenum, in the biliary system within the liver, and even breaking through the diaphragm to enter the right lung. Let's take a closer look. These are the adult worms located in the duodenum, and we can see that they are actually going through the ampullary system into the biliary system in the liver. And in this area, they are located in the liver parenchyma. They appear to have broken through the diaphragm. As you can see here, this is part of the diaphragm and it is breached. And turning this around, we can actually see the worms here poking out of the visceral pleura of the right lung. Let's learn a bit more about ascariasis. This is an infection that is caused by the nematode, Ascaris lambricoides. The female worm is actually very large. It is up to 35 centimeters long, and the male worm is slightly smaller, and I'm talking about the adult worm. Usually, these worms live in the intestines, in particular in the jejunum. Epidemiologically, the presence of hepatobiliary ascariasis is seen more frequently in women in the mid-30s, and this infection tends to affect tropical and subtropical regions, especially in areas where there is suboptimal sanitation. In the life cycle, the eggs are found in human feces, and they can also be found in improperly cleaned fruits and vegetables that are grown in contaminated soil. So they get ingested, they hatch in the intestines, and the larvae then penetrate through the mucosa and they join from the splanchnic to the systemic circulations and find their way into the lungs. Within the lungs, they will grow in the alveoli. They are then coughed up and they are swallowed to re-enter the gastrointestinal system. And it is in the intestine that they then mature into adult worms. The larvae can give rise to abscesses, pneumonitis, as well as obstruction. And usually the diagnosis is made by detection of eggs in stool samples. Clinically, the natural habitat is actually in the jejunum, but these worms tend to have the propensity to migrate towards small spaces. So if there is anything giving rise to altered gut motility, for example, a very heavy infestation, or perhaps a coexisting other infection in the gut, they can then migrate to the duodenum, as we have seen in this case, and in which case they can crawl into the ampulla and into the biliary system and in the liver. The adult worms in the intestine are usually asymptomatic. However, if the worm load is very high, this can give rise to abdominal pain, intestinal obstruction, as you can see here potentially, because this is almost forming a mass within the lumen. And they can also cause potential perforation and even appendicitis. In the biliary tract, there can be obstruction and colic, and even potentially cholangitis, which gives rise to fever, jaundice and chills, as well as right hypochondrial pain. In the liver, there can be abscess formation, and this is often due to dead ova that are released from female worms. These ova enter the common bile duct, and they can cause heavy granulomatous inflammation as well as increased eosinophils. And the liver abscesses can be solitary or multiple and give rise to tender hepatomegaly and fever. And let's summarize here again what we see. We see the heart, both right and left lungs, the diaphragm, the liver, the stomach, and the duodenum. And we can see that there are adult worms in the duodenum and also crawling into the biliary system in the liver, infecting the liver and going through and breaking across the diaphragm to affect 
the lungs and these are the worms that are protruding from the visceral pleura of the right lung. This virtual pathology specimen is taken from our free online pathology resource, PathWeb. You can register for free and the link is provided in the video description. If you scroll down, you will see additional information as well as talking pots and talking slides videos. Thank you.